Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Amber Nut video. Today is an interesting video because I want to talk about today what I had experienced or what I had experienced today was a pretty interesting experience. It was a very risky and very suffrage experience and it taught me a valuable lesson to get out of my comfort zone. And this is what I want to talk about today. I talk to you people about to get out of your comfort zone. I usually go to gym five times a week. No, three days weights and two days cardio and you no know, cardio and abs. Trying to get that bit you now, you know what I'm saying? No, obviously, obviously you're not trying to get like a perfect six pack. Obviously move the belly and just be healthy. For cardio, I usually do like incline, uh, walking, you know, like 16, 16, for like an hour or so. After that, I just do abs. For the cardio and abs, I just have different ab machines. You know, there, 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 you know. Sit ups, you know what I'm saying? Just to get that, those, that, those abs are like in hibernation exposed. Obviously, for the weight, you see that? See that tricep? Come on. But yeah, man. I've, I've, I've been trying to, and I'm, I'm trying to stay consistent and go to five times a week. But I may spread it out and do one uh, first day weight, next day cardio, second day, th second day weight, third day, you know what I'm saying? Spread it out. For now, that's my, that's my routine, you know, five times a week gym. Today, when I did cardio and abs, at the end of my abs, at the end of my cardio and abs, like the last, last cardio, my last part of the exercise, I usually just do me, I usually just punch the bags, bring them, put random marks them, and punch the bag, punch the bag for around 15 minutes, 15 to 10 minutes. Poor time, man, just punch the bag for 15 to 10 minutes. I don't really focus on my uh, technique. Sometimes I try to focus on my technique, but obviously, when I keep punching and I'm like sweating, you know, I'm sweating. I'm kind of getting tired, my hands are weak. I'm losing focus on my tech, I'm losing focus on my technique. I'm just swinging like wild, boom, just throwing haymakers. And this gym is very local to me, it's just like two minutes away. I, uh, I used to go gym, uh, that's like that's like 30 like thirty minutes away from me by walking, and like, like around five minutes by bus, I believe. And it was so annoying, because it was so packed. It was, like, it was, it was basically a like commercial gym. And it was so packed. There's really, there's actually random gym gym lessons that's going on. It's even though it's big, it's just everywhere. It's, it's not comfortable. And this gym is very quiet, even though it's a bit more expensive than the other one. It's still very quiet. Um, and there's barely anyone there. And it has a has some really good machines there. So I'm like, why not be there? And I, I've been there for about a week and a half, and it's done wonders for me. It's done wonders for me. Today. Today, when I was doing my boxing sessions, I saw one of my friend. Well, I saw the, uh, one of my friend. Uh, he, he 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 does some boxing. He's been doing boxing, kickboxing for about two years, and I told him about his gym routine. I uh, I believe he said, well, he "Waits there," and then if okay, he kickboxing he goes kickboxing on Wednesday. He does like a run, on on Sunday. He does like a ten minute run, like he's on the even though he's heavier than me. He has more conditioning. He has way more conditioning than me or than or any other average person who lays lays who lays who weighs less than him. Because I'm seeing him punch the pads every every time. It goes, it goes like a it always takes like a minute. It always takes like a minute rest. Then he keeps going punching the pads with good technique. And he's and doing and he's doing these boom crazy ass high kicks with good technique. Because he's been doing this shit for two years, so he has some good technique. I'm like, damn, how you been doing that, bro? Huh? Sorry, I had to take shit, but yeah, man. So I'm seeing him kicking the pants. Boom! I'm like, yo, what is that kick? It's called the. I believe he said it's called the hand, the hand spin, back, back, this back kick or whatever. It was really cool. I'm not able. I'm doing that. Trying to do that. Man. I'm not able to do that. But he knew how to do it. After I was like, um, I was pointing my punching pads, and then obviously start punching the punching the bags as usual. And I was like, "Yo, come spar me." He said, first though, first he said, "Yo, come try to try to hit me. Try to hit me. I'm I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just blocking. You try to hit me." I'm like, "That's fine, but oh, okay, I can do that." For some reason, I was nervous. Like I knew this guy was gonna hit me. All he, all he was gonna do is dodge, block and dodge. 
At least I can hit him body in the face. I will try my best to, you know, punch, boom, boom. And in some instances, I was very hesitant. I don't know why. This guy was gonna, he wasn't throwing back and I was still hesitant. And while I was trying to swing, I still missed. I look like an idiot. Like, you, you, it's, you in your room thinking like, yo, yeah, I know what I'm doing. Ba, 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 boom. If I hit with a, woof, with a wild swing like that, boom, woof, boom, up, up, yeah, he's done. But when you're in the ring, bro, what, even when you're doing light sparring, even when someone added, asking you, a high level person asking you, or even someone has two experience asking you, yo, hit me, hit me as hard as you can. And you can't, you can't even hit him. This guy has two years of experience. I'm trying my best to hit him. I can't even hit him. This is the level of experience. This is the difference between experience and just not knowing what the fuck you're doing, bro. And I did not know what the hell I'm doing. It's a fact. And so we're like, okay, that's it. And then he's like, and then he just switched up onto just sparring. So first he said, I see body sparring. So I'm like, all right. Your body is a body and head sparring. I'm like, all right. This is before he told me. This is before he told me this. I was like, alright, let's go. Boom, 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 boom. I was like, you know, throwing punches like, like crazy, man. He wasn't even, he wasn't even trying. He was, wasn't even doing. He was just like, okay, that's all. He was doing, you know, pivoting. Obviously, and then boom, boom, hit me on the face quite a few times. There was a few times was he was he, was he wasn't really trying to hit me. It's many punches where he got me. And then whenever he like goes forward and starts punching me, I keep sticking my ass up, bro. I keep moving, I keep moving away. I keep like running away, bro. At the whole time he was chasing me, I was running away like a bitch. That's why I was losing so much energy because I was running away. And whenever he attacked me, I was like, I wasn't trying to defend myself. I was doing, I, bro, I was doing this. I was doing this. Was, he was hitting me here, body shot, butt shot. It was, it was a point where he hit my back. It was mental. There were a few times where I, like, I got out of the corner. Like, there was a few times where he told me, you get out of the corner. I got out of the corner. But it was really bad. There were some instances where I got, he punched me. But I, for some reason, I jumped down and hit one of the punching bags. It was so bad. I was swaying. I was dying. And he wasn't, bro, he wasn't even trying that thing. I was just wasting my energy, just running around. Like a dickhead. While punching. And just punching air. It was insane. And I think it was. I don't, it wasn't really. It wasn't really any rounds. That that this that lasts for at least like five minutes. It lasts for at least like five minutes. I was. I, I stopped, and then we took a rest. I was dying, bro. I was like, <sighs> 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 there was. I think there was two times where I took. I, wait, there was. There was one time where it pushed me hard here. I, I fell down to the ground. He started counting one, two, three, four. Five, six, I got up. I never gave up. I never gave up. Even though I was I was dying. I was out and about. I, my, my, I was sweating. But I knew I, even if I got up, I was still gonna get I was still gonna get I was still gonna I was still gonna get beat. I still got up. That was a manly thing to do. Still got up. And guess what? I still got beat the shit out of. I'll try my best to punch you back. Didn't really do anything. I kept, I kept, still kept moving around like an idiot, not really moving properly. I was just running away, wasting my energy. And the moment, the one time where he hit me here, all that, hurt. then he hit me again here, and I dropped on the floor again. He counted again: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, boom! I did not stay down. I got up, bro. Swear to you, I got up. And guess what? I still beat the shit. I still gotta beat the shit out of him, bro. Still gotta beat the shit out of him. It was the end of the round. Bro, it felt like five minutes, bro. It felt like more than three minutes. It felt like a five minute round. I was tired. I was tired. And then after second round, he said, I, I won't do anything. I'll just heal with my left hand. He would, I, I would just heal with my left hand. That's what he said. He said, but all he thought was his left hand. And it would be body face, and I, and I could just I could, I, it would still be the same round. But all he can do is him, him, all he can do is him my face with my body with my left hand, and I can use both my hands, do the same thing. I'm like, okay, I felt a little bit confident, but at the same time, I still felt nervous because he had experience, and he's, he's, he's probably gonna make me look more stupid. I guess what he made me look, look, he made me look more stupid. So second round came in, still doing the same stupid shit, like. I was doing good. There was three times I was doing good. Hit it, hitting him 
he hitting me in the body, even though it was blocked, I was still hitting him. I was like, yeah, come on, keep hitting me. I'm like, okay, let's go. Boom, boom. Boom, when he started attacking, I was trying to see, like, you know, do like this, but I kept turning my, kept turning my shit around. I always, there was so, there was some instances where I was so pissed when I kept turning around. I was like, bro, bro, what the fuck am I doing? What do I keep turning around for? It was, I was that pissed. Because I kept turning around while, while I shouldn't be turning around. I was pissed at myself. Did I learn my lesson? Not really, I kept turning around. Mm. I was trying my best, and he was still, he punched me in, in my mouth here. While he was only using one hand, bro. While he was only using one hand. Bro, it's so scary. You're meant to block like this, but like, you're, you're stuck like, what, what? Like, you can hit here though. You can hit here, you can hit, you can hit here. You can hit here. But, my, my, like, and instinctively, if you have no experience in fighting, who cares about boxing? If you have no experience in fighting in general, your defense mechanism is this. Like, you know, this turtle shell. Like, on this. You know what I'm saying? And that was my natural instinct of defense. And obviously, that's stupid because you could, you, could, you could just get destroyed by just doing this. And that's what happened, bro. It was, it was getting better. But that round ended. And after that, he told me. He told me how to throw a jab. How to do a, how to throw a, a jab straight with a hook. You know what I'm saying? First, he did this. <laughs> what I'm saying? Told me the jab. I did pretty good. I did. I did pretty good in the jab. And then the next thing was the. With a straight, he told me. Then he told me the straight. You know what I'm saying? He told me the straight. Boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? What? Uh, he told me the straight. He told me the straight. You know what I'm saying? Boom. I actually, I actually don't think he told me the straight. I think, I think, I think he only told me the hook. He told me the jab and the hook. I don't think he told me the straight, you know. He did not teach me the straight. <laughs> but I believe the straight is like this. No, actually, he did teach me the straight. He did teach me the straight. It was like... A twist here. The twist. That's bad. Get back. You know what I'm saying? He told me that. He also told me the hook. I kept messing up the hook. I kept messing up. Like, I was looking at him. Obviously, when you do this, got to this. I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna put it like this. Like, you have to put it in the temple. Like, around the, around here. And I kept putting it like a hook. I wasn't bending this. And I needed to bend it like this. I think so, yeah. But I kept, like, I kept, like, doing it like a fucking hook. Kept doing it like you know, like a straight of some sort. So I kept messing up. But when I, but when I was in the right angle though, I did it right. So when I did this, you know what I'm saying? Told me that, and after when he told me that, we did another, th we did a third round, and he said, "All the while I taught you, put it all together in this in this round." And guess what? I put it all together in this round, and I can't lie, it made a difference. It made a huge difference. I was I was a bit more confident. I was throwing in that jab well. I was throwing in that straight well. I was. The hook was still a problem, but I was I was still trying to throw in that hook properly. Trying still trying to throw in the hook, even though the hook was still bad. Still trying to throw in that. He kept getting in. There was a few times where I still like you know did this, but it was it was better. It was way better. Still throwing. I was throwing in more than the other two rounds. And he said, if you can hit me once, you know the round's over. You win. I don't think he said you won, but the round the round's over. So I'm like, all right, I try to stay calm while hitting him. 
Still couldn't hit him, but we st- throwing more. He was throwing. I kept being stupid. But when I came forward again, boom, boom. I hit him with a nice, I believe a straight. I believe that got him. Yeah, that got him. I hit him with a right straight that got him. And I dropped to the ground. I stupidly dropped to the ground. I was like, oh, yes, I got him. And I, I, just, I don't know why I dropped to the ground. Like, I, I could have just hit him and boom, went back. So like, okay, that's good. I, I had him. And then after that, I'm like, yep, you did it. You know, and then we sat down. And I said, I, I, I believe that like, he, he may have just let me hit him. He could have easily done that. He'd be like, nah, man, you did good, you hit me. I was like, okay. Some, you know, confidence building. But I still have a lot to learn. And I definitely, if I do see him on, on, the, on the same day today, which is Friday, but when I do upload this, it will definitely be on a Saturday or Sunday, one of those days. Whatever I have time to upload it, I'll upload it. But I had a sparring session today. My first ever sparring session obviously did not go well. But it gave me a lot of life lessons. And it humbled me and told me to go past my limit. In that day, in the, on that day, on that sparring session, I believed I went past my limit. It, it didn't, I wasn't able to go far past my limit. But I go went past my limit quite a bit. And he told me a lesson. He, t- he, he told me a thing or two on how to, how to defend myself and how to throw some boxing. Because I do some shadow boxing. And I know me doing some shadow boxing. I watch, I watch a decent amount of boxing. I watch a decent amount, a decent amount of these new upcoming boxing and boxing fighters. I try to analyse them. But it's not, it's not, it's not, it's, it's the difference between analysing them and actually doing, in the real, doing it in the, doing the real thing. And when I was doing the real thing, I looked very stupid, I looked very nervous, I was scared, I, I kept turning my ass around, I kept turning myself around. I wasn't throwing, I wasn't, I wasn't throwing anything properly. When he told me, when he told me the basics of jab, jabbing, straight, hook, I was realising like, yo, student, I'm, a, I'm trying to be a student in this game. And inshallah I'll be a student in this game. I don't know if he's going to teach me frequently, but whenever I do see him, maybe he'll ask me again to spar with him and see what's up. You know what I'm saying? And maybe I can get the better of him, but I don't want to get the better of him. Because realistically, it may not happen. What I'm trying to do is learn from him, learn from him and learn from my mistakes and get better. Will I ever become a fashion boxer? No, because I don't want to become a fashion boxer. I'm just trying to go past my limits, suffer, learn, learn how to defend myself, you know, learn a martial arts, learn how to defend myself. When I'm when I'm when when I'm when I'm when a danger comes towards me, when someone when someone has a knife, I run. But when someone has has fists, I try trying to trying to rob me with their fist. I will be able I will be able to defend myself. I will be able to defend myself with my fist because I don't want to throw a punch. But until then, I will learn and understand the ways of how to you know operate in the box in the in the fighting scene. But wow, man, that that sparring session today was my first ever sparring, sparring session. It was like sparring, but at the same time, he made me suffer. I know he was not trying enough. He was definitely was not trying. He had two years of experience, and he was trying to let me throw punches back. And the roll, it felt good, bro. It was suffrage. I was tired. I was sweating, but it taught me a lesson. It taught me a lesson of not giving up. It taught me a lesson of, you know, resistance. Of opening your opening your mind to new things, and just overall, you're young, so it's good to go past the limit, and it's good to learn new things, and it's good to you know, you know, break a few bones here and there, you know, just sweat here and there, make your mind go crazy here and there when you're young. So that's how that's what I learned today. Learned balance, learned resilience, learned discipline, learned humbleness. I don't think I want to do the same t- next week, Friday, or whatever I do the same. It'll be, it, may, it may be different. Maybe I've improved. Maybe I'm, I'm, more, I'm less nervous. Maybe I'm able to block properly. I hope he t- I didn't teach. I didn't tell him, but hopefully, I could, hopefully, inshallah, next week, t- next week, Friday, I'll tell him how to block. Because he, I don't think, he did tell me how to block, but I don't think he taught me properly how to block, how to block a hawk, how to block a body shot. He didn't tell me how to block a body shot, but he didn't actually tell me properly. So I could, hopefully I could tell him, I could teach him how to block a body shot, you know, this, this, that, you know what I'm saying? This, for the body shot, I did this. Like, I don't know what I had to, I was trying to copy him, but I did like this for the body shot. And I thought, the face, I'm trying to do this, but when it, when it came to attacking me, I was fucking turning my ass around like that. But yeah, man, my first time spinal session, it felt weird. It felt very, very weird. Very uncom- I was very uncomfortable in 
every sec, I was very uncomfortable every second I was in there. Definitely different to punching bags or punching the punching the pads or the shadow box is very different. If you're that, you know, type of person that thinks, oh, me punching pads, or oh, you the shadow box, or thinking that yo, yo, you're bullying the other guy because you think you can fight, but with the other guys are fighting back, go fight someone that has even six months of experience or one year of experience. He will make you look stupid. He'll he'll discipline you and humble you to the level you don't even that you haven't yeah that you have you know never that you never you know, that you never imagined of. And that's the truth, man. It will humble you differently, and it humbled me. I was never that. I was never really an arrogant person. I never really bullied anyone. But the fact that me shadow boxing, the fact that I was me, the fact that I was punching a punch bank, acting like I knew I was doing, knew acting like I knew, I didn't. I knew that I I knew that I did not know what I was doing. But the fact that I guess in my mind, I kept carrying on thinking that I knew what I was doing. I had arrogance inside of me, and this today it humbled me, realizing like, yo, you don't know how to throw a punch. Relax, Arab. Relax, bro. Relax, Amber. Like, you don't know how to throw a punch. And on that day, he humbled me, and he taught me some lessons, which hopefully I could go forward in in the future. And I keep doing these sparring sessions. I keep, I keep get, I keep learning. And yeah, bro. Yeah. Very interesting, man. Have y'all ever sparred? Have y'all ever have y'all ever boxed before? Tell me in the comments. I don't know what comments in these videos, but see it. Look at my arms, though. Fuck you. Know. <clears throat> but yeah, man. That's that's this is my story today. My first ever sparring session it did not go well, but it taught me a lot of lessons. Thank y'all for watching. See you next video. Bye.